I really like Doc Martens, but on the flip side, there are some annoying things about Doc Martens. In no way, shape, form, or anything like that is this like a hate speech or anything. These are just some annoying things about Doc Martens. The first and probably the biggest annoying thing about Doc Martens is the sizing. I feel like Doc Martens can make so much money if they have half sizes. Since Doc Martens do not have half sizes, I am sure they're losing on a lot of money. Just simply because a lot of people trying to figure out their Doc Martens size is a whole new different type of math that not a lot of people have the patience to try to solve, especially if there's not like a store location next to you or anything like that. It is very complex. For example, imagine if you already have a pair of Doc Martens. How was your experience getting your first pair of Doc Martens? Like trying to figure out your sizing. Was it complex? Was it easy? And then also, if you wear a half size in other sneakers or shoes, trying to convert that to what it is for Doc Martens is very complex because not every Doc Martin sneakers or shoes are all the same. For example, for the most part, I wear a nine in most of Doc Martens shoes, but others I've noticed that I wear an eight. So things like that can be very tricky. And I know it can be so annoying. Imagine if you bought a pair of Doc Martens, tried it on, and then they're too big or too small. Just that whole process kind of discourages people to get some Docs. And it's very annoying because imagine getting a pair of Docs and they're too small or too big. That would just ruin your whole experience of Docs just from the start. So that's like the biggest annoying thing. If Doc Martens made half sizes, I'm pretty sure the company would even be just a little bit better. The most popular Doc Martens are the leather ones, and with that comes with breaking into your Doc Martens. Breaking into your Doc Martens is a different experience, mainly for everyone. Some people, they can break into it faster. Some people can deal with blisters, so forth and so on. I'm not saying Doc Martens needs to change their boots or anything like that. All I'm saying is, on their website, if they add, let's say, a little meter or something like that to say, a one out of five how easy or how hard it is to break into certain leather so that people know what they're getting themselves into i know probably 90 plus of individuals that buy doc martens are not like leather expert and things like that there are some that are which is good but for those that are not let them know hey you're buying these they look good on the website you've seen other people they look good on them but these are gonna take a minute to break into so that they know l what do I need to do or what am I expecting once I get these? For example, vegan leather, break into them easier. But when it comes to the smooth leather, that's going to be a pain. So that would take a little bit longer to break into. I understand Doc Martens. They do a good job on their website. They tell you, oh, how to break into your Doc Martens, use their product, and hopefully it works. But I'm just saying breaking into Docs or breaking into leather shoes in general, it's an annoying process. I just want people to be more aware of it i don't know it's just me the last thing that's annoying to me is the availability of doc martens i know doc martens distribute to different stores and things like that they distribute their popular items for example 1460 1461s at different stores so it's easier for people to see them but the biggest gripe is probably like let's say if i don't live in this area which i do have a doc martens store and there's some stores that do sell Doc Martens too. It makes it very difficult on my end because simply put, if I wanted like nothing that is 1460 or 1461, then I'm gonna have to order it online or I'm gonna have to find a Doc Martens store to go to to just try it on and things like that, which for me personally, it can be, it's not good because I don't like, let's say if I bought a pair of Docs and Sometimes the sizing is very hard. So I try to make sure I get the right sizing before I make the purchase because especially if you buy it online, you have to go back, sell it or send it back. And then just going through that process can be annoying. And then doing that, sometimes mistakes can happen. And no, I don't want to go through that whole process. And then also, I just want to say that I've noticed on the Doc Martin website, not all websites are the same the the british one they had the um that that summer thing or what is it 
um, the Clarkson Mule that I even wanted, but guess what? They don't sell it in America. That was like, really? I understand different markets and different things like that, but I felt like that one was a flop because a lot of Americans wanted that so bad, or maybe it's just me. But yeah, that one. And then also I know that um, my certain shoes or certain boots that they're limited time only. I understand for the collaboration, make perfect sense. But when it comes to like my 1460s, the one with the white stitching, those are not even on the website anymore. I bought them like about a, almost a year or two ago and it's no longer on the website. And I'm like, oh, are those collabs or I'm confused. And even the, the cherry red 3989s that I do have, they're not on the website too. I'm like, what's going on? Like. I understand the business aspect of it puts pressure on people to buy it if they want it but on the flip side it's like oh wow if I don't buy it then it's gonna be hard for me to get them because me personally I do not like shopping outside the Doc Martin stores because uh, it just leads to I don't want to get any fakes or anything like that so I just think it's easier for me just to buy at the Doc Martin store that I know, oh, everything is here. This is the original, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, that's all my gripes, complaints about Doc Martens. Leave yours in the comments below. Thanks for watching.